KP, now I watched you cross the finish line in the early hours of this morning looking possibly fresher than you were at the start. <laughs> I, I mean, were you just putting on a show there? How were you feeling? I mean, running's good for the soul, right? And that was 50 miles of good soul searching. So uh, yeah, I felt I felt good. Like different events have different purposes. And this one, I never intended to go out and sort of race it because I'm still recovering from some niggles from a hundred miler I did. So I just went out to have fun. And I'm pretty sure I achieved that. Yeah, well, from what we saw, you definitely, <laughs> definitely achieved that. Um, what were your favorite bits out there on the course? Gosh, I mean, the aid stations were unreal. I loved all the themes, the energy, uh, all the food was great and just the views. I kept having to remind myself, like, look up, stop staring at your feet, take it all in. So, yeah, some epic scenes were made it. Uh, what were the toughest bits? Toughest bits? I think after my knees started to, to feel a bit sore. So coming downhill, that last descent, I was like, I wish I could just roll into a ball and just roll all the way down. <laughs> so yeah, just, just slightly sore knees coming downhill just, just made it a bit difficult, but got there. Any lessons learned from the race that you pass on somebody trying to do it next year? Gosh, I think what I really loved is the people out there were all shapes and sizes, different ages, and it's, as I said earlier, it's so inclusive, like anyone can do this. If you wanna just walk it, you can, there's plenty of time and you still get to experience the the buzz and the atmosphere of an ultra, regardless if, if you're coming in at eight hours or coming in at 23 hours, it doesn't matter. Everyone supports each other. So I would just say, just, yeah, don't be put off by the whole ultra thing it's an amazing event so i'd say just go for it awesome you heard it from kp we'll see you all next year you better <laughs>